What's up, freight brokers? What's the deal? How you feel? I hope you're doing well out there today. I hope your families are doing well. If you're here with me right now, we have another chance to live this wonderful thing that we call life, and that's something to be grateful about. With that said, I have something that I want to share with you today before we get into the training. Think about this. Put it on your mind. It's a quote by Marilyn Ferguson. It says, no one can persuade another to change. Each of us guard a gate of change that can only be opened from the inside. No one can open the gate of another, either by argument or emotional appeal. Close quote. So what does that say to you? What it says to me is that my gate is my responsibility to open. Your gate is your responsibility to open. I can't open yours. You can't open mine. It's an individual responsibility change itself. So when you decide change is time is necessary for you, you'll make a change. Not until that time will change come for you. All right. So today we're talking about overcoming adversity. And I think we have the perfect situation to highlight what it means to overcome adversity. Chris and his wife, Evelyn of Global Spectrum Logistics, they've been in business for a little while now. I can't remember exactly how long it's been but they have a family. They have children and Chris is a truck driver. He has his own truck, his own operator. And what he decided he wanted to do was he wanted his wife to be able to stay home with their children instead of having to go out and go to work. She currently has a job. The plan is to eventually, you know, let that be her main thing, owning and operating the freight broker business. And he does the truck business. So Chris and his wife went ahead and took that leap of faith, got their freight broker business started. And the first problem that they ran into is a problem that most freight brokers have when they get started in their freight broker business. And what is that? The customer problem. They didn't get customers as quickly as they thought they would. So they said, Hey, you know what? Let's go out and hire a professional agency to get customers for us. Now, you know how I advise when it comes to hiring an outside agency, I say, no, don't go that route because it usually does not work. I just don't think that you can put that in someone else's hand. It usually does not turn out well. In this situation, it didn't turn out so well for Chris and his wife, Evelyn. They hired the agency, paid them $2,000, used them for about a three month period, and they didn't get any customers. Now, if you pay somebody $2,000 and they're supposed to go out and get customers for you, then you expect that they're going to get customers for you. But that didn't happen, which is why I highly suggest you take that responsibility in your own hands. Don't give it to anybody else. With that said, it didn't work out. They lost that $2,000 and they could have said, you know what? I'm going to pack it all in. This is not going to work out. But they kept going. They kept moving forward even after losing that two grand because they thought that this business was for them. They just needed to get the right situation. So after that, Chris said he ran into our videos, immediately went out and purchased the training program and start digging into the program. And they went ahead and set their business up according to how we teach in the program and went out and got that first customer and moved their first load. And when you do that, go out and get that first customer and move that first load. You complete what we call Brandon success challenge. And when that happens, we refund you the cost of the training program. I know it. Nobody else is doing that. People look at us and wonder why do you give the money back because they complete the training program because they go out and do what you teach them to do because that's the incentive I want to give them. I feel like it's a big accomplishment to go out and get your business set up and then go out and get your first customer and move your first load. It's the easy part to me getting a business set up is much harder to actually execute. So when you go out and you do that, we think it's worth rewarding that effort. So we refund you for the cost of the training program. Big super congrats to Evelyn and Chris global spectrum logistics. I wish you the very best. I hope that you continue to move forward. Just use this as a building block and keep building on top of it. Don't stop here. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. Also, if you want to learn more about the freight broker business, I'll leave a free link in the description. It's my five video series titled how the load movement process works. What it does is give you a chance to come into the office with me and watch over my shoulder as I move loads, talk to shippers, talk to carriers. That way you can get a better understanding of how the business works. And then if you're interested in learning how much it costs to actually start your own freight broker business, I'll leave a free link right here. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.